welcome to the project demonstration of smart farming system so here we are approaching the smart farming uh, features uh, execution with the help of dst11 sensor and a co2 sensor and uh, there is a co like uh, this one is a soil moisture sensor interfaced to the arduino uno board and also ldr light dependent resistor so uh, respectively directly like uh, we are interfacing the ldr sensor at a2 pin and uh, soil mesh sensor at a1 pin and a uh, smoke, uh, smoke sensor this is co sensor at a0 pin and dst11 sensor at 10th pin to the arduino uno and uh, this is the esp8266 module interface at 8 and 9 pins of the arduino uno board and uh, in this project we are going to send the this sensors data to the thinkspeak cloud platform so from there we can get the uh, data in a graphical presentation as well as we can download that in excel sheet data format so before switching on this sketch so as i said before switching on this kit we need to enable the mobile phone hotspots with the name of ssid a b c d e f g h i all are small characters and the uh, password 129 so no space and uh, no capital letters and after that enable the hotspot along with internet this is very important hotspot and data should be enabled in the phones now i enable that in my phone which i'm uh, taking the video and uh, after that give the power supply so once we provided the power supply so automatically we can observe the device got connected to our phone so we can see that the device got connected into our phone in a connected device manager and uh, is continuously sending data to the thinkspeak cloud platform so now let us see the current values how they are stored in the thinkspeak so now wait for 10 to 15 seconds because the thinkspeak can accept only uh, the data at a duration of 10 to 15 seconds only so now log into the uh, think speak with the given credentials so just now we got the data so that is a co and a humidity and a temperature and a moisture level this four and also lighting as ldr so this five sensors data are sent to the think speak cloud continuously it's keep on sending the data so based on the sensors input so now i'm placing the soil moisture sensor inside a water After placing this, let us wait for some time. And also parallelly, I am going to uh, hide the or LDR sensor so that we can get the LDR sensor data also. So let us see the how these two uh, sensors change the output on this thing speak. So now the lighting got increased and coming to the moisture level so you can see that moisture level got increased okay so this is a live data can be monitored continuously and if you want to get to download this data just go to data imports and here download the data after downloading you can see the data got downloaded in csv format that is comma separated value and just open that it will be open in uh, ms uh, excel sheet format so directly we can see the date so this is the date of the each and every entry this entry id uh, in number of entries entered and field 1 2 3 4 5 so as these are uh, mentioned so here along with uh, the names of what is the field 1 2 3 4 so and if you want to clear the old data go to channel settings and now in the down we can see the clear channel only do clear channel don't do other uh, like save channel or delete channel it's only clear the channel and now the old data will be erased so as we can see that now there is no old data and so after some time based on the time duration for the time things peak so the data will be uploaded directly to the things peak cloud platform each and every sensor data will be presented in graphical presentation right so we got the new data again so the very important step is we should enable the hotspot along with the data then only the data will be sent to the thing speak okay
thank you for watching demo